Hey everybody, thanks so much for checking out Branch at Guitar. I'm John, and today we're going to be talking about Hendrix Bends. So let's get started. Alright everybody, today I'm just going to step you through three common types of bends used by the late, great, the greatest Jimi Hendrix. Um, we're going to be talking about unison bends, what I think are called compound bends, but I'm not too sure, and then also kind of some double stop type bends here. So the first thing, a unison bend, is basically where you're playing one note where you're bending it up a whole step and then you're playing the same exact note on the next string over. So we'll start here at the fifth fret on the second string. So that's the note that's going to be uh, static, stationary. You're not going to do anything with it. And you're going to play on the third string, the seventh fret uh, below it, and you're going to bend that up a whole step. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to match those two pitches there. The trick, the hard thing, is you're trying to push up with two fingers here, but keep your first finger in the same spot. But the good news is you can listen for that sound vibration and make sure it's in tune. If, they're, if you're not quite there, you might get something like this. You get this kind of wobbly sound. You want to eliminate that. That's how you know that the bend is going to be in tune. And the really good news is once you start getting a feel for it, you'll be able to, just to hit that bend, you know, no matter what, no matter where you're on the guitar. It just becomes kind of muscle memory for you after that, at that point. And you can do that with any notes uh, on, on these two strings. And you can also add vibrato. That's definitely a very, very, very common Hendrix thing. Uh, I think the beginning of Highway Child. Pretty, pretty cool effect and definitely something that uh, I would think started with him. Maybe it was done before, but uh, he certainly popularized if he didn't invent it. Um, now you can do the same thing on the top two strings as well. So if I, but now because of the tuning of the guitar, you have to go a, uh, a half step higher. So instead of being uh, two fret difference between the, the two notes, you're going to be three fret difference. So if I play the A on the first, uh, pardon me, fifth fret of the first string, now I'm going to bend the note up at the 8th fret of the 2nd string up a whole step. Same concept, I'm trying to put those two notes together, get them perfectly in tune, no sound waves. sorts of tunes that's certainly uh, the, the end of the end solo of uh, all along the watchtower so those are unison bends uh, what I think are called compound bends don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure they are but it goes something like this say if I'm here uh, will be out of the E minor pentatonic scale Okay, so if I play here at the 14th fret on the third string, I'm going to bend up a whole step like we've gone over before. Now what I'm going to do is play the 15th fret on the second string, similar to the unison bend in that I'm not doing anything with that finger. I'm letting it stay, uh, uh, stay static, stay, in the, uh, stay stationary, but it's not actually the same note. It's actually a harmony note. So I can play both notes at the same time and then complete that bend. I could do a pre-bent note and then let go of the bend. Um, I could play this note and then go to play the second note and kind of separate the two. It's very common, say like the Little Wing solo, you know. Compound bend again is where you're just bending one note and then you're taking a harmony note on the next string of some sort, uh, keeping it stationary and put it, putting the two notes together. This is a very common one because the third sounds really good, but uh, you know you could do something even on the first string if you use pick and fingers. Re 
really up to your ear to kind of uh, know what you like and you know what sounds best to you. But Hendrix very common doing this thing. You could play it in a different position over here, sit at the tenth fret on the second string, and then the tenth fret on the first string. It's the same two notes, just a different position on the on the neck. I can play this down an octave. So that's what we're calling the compound bend. Check me out on that. Please comment below and maybe we can uh, talk about it further. And then finally, uh, kind of a double stop type bend. Um, there's two different kinds here that I'm going to go over. One would be where you're, again, out of this first position of the pentatonic, E minor pentatonic scale. You could, say, play it on the 14th fret on the th uh, third and second strings. This really gets more into Dorian. Uh, country we, we can talk about that later but anyway I'm just gonna bar across uh, those two strings with my third finger and then play kind of do a half step in this goes very well with like say the compound band we just went over start kind of going for a little bit more particularly heavier tack you're using double stops where you're just basically playing two notes at the same time another common uh well common hendrix thing this is definitely a hendrix thing where if i bend a whole step here at the 15th fret on the second string a lot of times what he'll do and this seems to be just really on the second and third string so he's played the second uh second string note bent that note up and he just kind of kind of rolls his finger over to the third string where he's just a half step bend or so on the fifth same fret of the third string i guess is uh you probably hear this a lot in the slow blues kind of stuff he does like voodoo child but not slight return the 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 slow version on electric lady line So that's pretty much it for Hendrix type bends. Be sure to subscribe, you can comment, share below, and definitely be sure to check out branchaguitar.com for a little bit more information. We'll see you next time.